Hi Aries, Kings, Queens, and everything in between. I am Austria, the Unbothered Queen. Today I am channeling the collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, and Venus to deliver a love message for those of you that are in no contact or separation. Please keep in mind that this message is gentle, so it will not resonate with every Aries, Sun, Moon, or Venus sign. So only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Do not force the story to fit. Energy is fluid, so this message could be past, present, or future, making it timeless. Also, this message could be from the perspective of the cross watcher, so place yourself accordingly, either here or there. Keep in mind, I do not read gender specific, um, gender um, specifically. So, if it's a, a feminine or a masculine um, card, you can switch it out to fit the story that resonates with you. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump into your energy, Aries. Spirit, please give me some messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Venus in separation and no contact. Spirit, please give me some messages for Sun, Moon, and Venus signs, Aries, in separation and no contact. Please give me some messages for Sun, Moon, and Venus and Venus Aries that are in separation and no contact. All right, thank you. Okay, so right off the bat, it's a lot of sex happening, so I'm here for that, Aries. Okay, okay, so we have make the effort, and it says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I think that a lot of you are getting downloads from your spear guide. And telling you um, what you need to do in this connection. Which is possibly the reason that you guys are in separation. Um, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So I think for yeah, a lot of you guys, um, this is a lesson that the universe is teaching you in regards to love and how to love and what love should look like and what love should be. Um, we have separation here, time apart from your partners on the horizon. No shit, we're in a <laughs> no um, a no contact separation message here. So passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I think that, you know, the not having sex part is really doing it for you. Um, let's see. Uh, let go of control issues here at the bottom of the deck. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. I think that a lot of you guys are struggling with following your guys' information. I think a lot of you guys are struggling to do that. Um, and for a small few of you, you're being stubborn about... Um, moving forward with your person, a small few. But majority of you guys are listening to or not wanting to listen to your um, intu um, intuition. You go back and forth every day. Okay. What messages do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Venus person? What messages do we have for Aries? Okay, so we have Honeymoon. It's the first one to pop up there. It says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I'm really sensing, like, normally this isn't a marriage card to me, um, you know, when, um, from the energy that I get from it. But today I'm getting, you know, um, your person or you, depending on, you know, where you're at, that they want a higher level of commitment. Like, and in the past, they may have not have been that way. Like, I'm hearing they want to take trips with you, baby. Like. What messages do you have for? Yeah. <laughs> they want you back. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life, okay? They coming. You know, um, and again, um, it's definitely a passionate situation here. It's like, it's a lot of sex happening. And I just need to say, it. It's probably because of retrograde is that they're coming back. Um, I'm definitely getting that sense. Yeah, see, 
I cannot make this shit up. Engagement was the next card to pop out. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Like I fucking said. Okay. They're like whatever, you know, high commitment means to you. Um, because everybody does um everyone does not aspire to be married. But whatever that looks like to you, I think that this person is now um interested in um giving it to you. I'm hearing like um and a dog like um you know like white picket fence and a dog type of energy and the underlying message that they have at the bottom is let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others i think that this person is playing this um, entire situation that they're having close to the chest um, not a lot of people if anyone knows how they really feel about um, being separated from you. Um, also, I think that they're getting information from spirit, but they don't they don't see it or they don't believe it, or they're not um, fully in tune to like really accept it. Is what I'm hearing. How does Aries view this connection? How does Aries Sun Moon view this connection? How does Aries Sun Moon view this connection? Okay. We have the Eight of Wands and the Three of Cups. So for a lot of you, I'm getting you guys want you know to reconcile the situation. You want to move forward with this person and you're definitely in your head about it it's taken a lot of willpower for you not to reach out like i said it's taken a lot of willpower for you not to reach out to this person because you think about them a lot could be dealing with the leo Yeah, see, with the Five of Pentacles um, in the upright, I really think that you're in a place where you're feeling like um, you need to you need to protect yourself, um, and also you you need to listen to the steps that you're guided to take because you understand the process. Um, this is definitely sound like a twin flame connection. Yeah, with the Ace of Swords. You have clarity, again, introspection with the Hermit card um, as well here. Um, definitely um, your spirituality is assisting you with this union and moving forward. Um, could be dealing with a Virgo as well. For a lot of you, I really think that you're waiting for the reunion. Like you're waiting on them to reach out. How does this person view? Okay, so you guys have a lot of time together. Um, it's definitely, you know, from familiarity here. <laughs> um, with this Six of Cups, you know... For some of you, I think that, um, again, it, it's a soulmate connection or, you know, twin flame connection here. Um, could be dealing with the Gemini with the lover's card. living your best life like it's golden um you know um, it's like I'm, I'm hearing so much and i'm trying to make sense of it just give me one moment it's like you're living your best life without them and they think that they no longer have 
an opportunity to have another have another um, cycle with you or to um, fix this situation. Yeah, because it's like with <laughs> but you are their wish fulfillment and they definitely want to start something new with you guys. They want to prove that they've transformed. You could be dealing with a Scorpio um, or an Aquarius here with this um, with this um, death card and the fool. They they want another chance. They they want to start completely over. Like I'm talking about dating again type of energy here they they look at you as their wish fulfillment you know you it's like they didn't know that you were everything that they ever wanted until they stopped dealing with you or you stopped dealing with them however it happened yeah and see with this five of swords energy and this seven of wands, it's like now it's like you are so in your pride, so in your self confidence that they're, huh? It's like you're doing so much for yourself right now, like you have so much ambition or whatever. That it's like they don't even know if it's like what I'm hearing is new me who this. Like, they don't know if you eat, you're like, who you are or who you are becoming or, or something like that. If, if that person is still interested in them. What vibe is Aries giving to that person here? What vibe is Aries giving to that person here? The Hierophant and the Reverse. Like, I don't play by them rules. <laughs> I don't want none of that. I'm good. <laughs> Again, that Nine of Pentacles by myself. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, it's like, you're giving out that energy. Like, you know, you're moving forward without the regardless. Like, you have clarity and what you're supposed to do now and you no longer want to like put effort into this I'm hearing yeah we have the four of pentacles and the page of swords so they're watching you or vice versa to see if, to basically see if um, there's, I'm, I'm hearing a way in, um, <laughs> like if there's like, um, if it's like they're, they're, they, first of all, they want to know if you're dating somebody else or something, but also they're trying to figure out if it's a chip in the armor I'm hearing, like the, if they can like get in with you some way, somehow. Yeah. Yeah, so, because you're giving them off, like, no, I'm good. Again, at the bottom of the deck, look, I'm good and I'm sure. <laughs> Again. Like, you're giving them off, like, I don't want a relationship. I'm tired of this stupid-ass bullshit. I don't want to deal with any of this moving forward. The only thing I'm checking for is a bag is what I'm hearing. Like that's 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 the only thing I'm checking for. What vibe is Aries person giving to them? Okay, thank you. Alright, so it says we have the nine of swords again so it's now on, on both sides um i'm definitely getting twin flame vibes here um with the ace of pentacles there um
Oh, it's okay. So they think that they have missed an opportunity with you, and it's really hard to for them to gauge what you're like what's real i'm hearing like they don't know how they can step forward they are they are almost okay okay they are so afraid of a rejection they do not want to come towards you i'm trying to have these cards in order but it's not going to be right so i'm not going to even attempt it anymore yeah <laughs> So, they don't know if they can uh, move towards you with this Six of Swords here. You could be dealing with an air sign. I'm seeing a lot of swords. They're also, um, it's like they want to bring you this offer of stability and a union and structure and you know they want to show you that you know i'm serious that you know i'm serious this time um but they're moving very slow <laughs> it's like um i'm hearing they type out messages and then erase them so they could be texting you or like messaging you on um, on social media. But I'm also getting also to that, you know, for a lot of you, um, one, you know, this person may be a little bit immature, but also they don't know how to do this. I feel I am really getting a strong sense of. You have always been the one to kind of come towards them. So they don't know even what to do to like try to make it, um, I'm not, not better, but try to um, like reel you in. So like, I feel like right now they're trying to, you know, start manifesting you or they have been manifesting you for some of them. Um, they could have even, you know, start kind of going on to like your path of like, if you're into, um, like I said, you're listening to your guys because you know what's up there. They're going down that path to try to understand the best way to um, get you to come towards them or the best way to come towards you. Yeah. And, you know, we do have Taurus energy here too with this higher font. I know I did not say that. Yeah. <laughs> So like I said, with the Seven of Swords energy and the um, and the um, the Emperor, which is definitely your card in the reverse, they they definitely have control issues. Um, you know, and how they okay. Since they don't know what they're doing, what they're going to attempt to do is manipulate the situation to get you back. Now, granted, it's kind of fucked up. However, <laughs> um, it comes from a place of, I'm hearing desperation, because manipulation is something that they they definitely know how to do. This is definitely probably like an, I'm, I'm really like strongly doing this at your side. Yeah, then we have the Five of Swords at the bottom. And the Seven of Swords again. Now, you guys see me shuffling it. So, you know, this is no way. Then we have the Sun card here in the reverse. So, they are not happy with um, with this situation, how you've been towards them, any of that. You know, you used to be, you know, giving, you know, nurturing them, you know, um, I'm hearing something about a mom, though, too, here. 
um, with this like um, not like not like my mom or not like I don't know okay something to do with the mom you could be dealing with the, your, the, the mother of your child or somebody that has a child father of your child or it doesn't matter for the sex change the sex as you need to um, but they definitely want to have sex with you too that's they definitely want to come towards you with that and they do know that you are their soulmate even whether or not they speak those words or not they they are aware they are aware because this right here what they're dealing with they don't they don't really know too much about dealing with these type of things which is why they are a lot in their head about it what steps will Aries take towards their person all right we have the knight of cups master of romance and invitations so i think okay then we have indecision way two of swords yeah, like I said in the beginning of this, I think a lot of you guys are going back and forth with whether or not you want to reach out or not reach out. Because I think, like I said, this person hasn't ever had to do that with you. Or um, they've never had to come towards you. You've kind of always kind of take, taken the reins in this situation or in this relationship. So now it's like, yeah and i think that you know this is um pisces energy here well pisces cancer energy here with the moon card but i think that this is really making you really anxious about it we have the judgment card here and that Scorpio energy. But I really think that, you know, the decision that was made was made for the highest good of the union in itself. You do want it to, you do want it. You do want the union, right? But you want it in the time in which it's supposed to come. Like, like this is really feeling divinely guided. So, yeah, we have the King of Swords, more um, Gemini energy. And then we have the Four of Wands, um, showing that you want stability. <laughs> then we have the Seven of Swords, just like them. So, even though you're on the up and up, you're not being necessarily manipulative, but you're being stealthy. <laughs> uh, this is definitely... Uh, a twin flame union and you don't have to be with your twin flame but just saying look it up um <laughs> wow okay so you're definitely doing stuff to kind of like get their attention because you know them i feel you know them and you know their patterns even if they think that you don't and you guys are psychically connected to um so but you more so than them because I don't think that they are accepting of it. You're accepting of it. So you know um, certain things. I'm hearing when they think of you. I'm hearing um, dreams, um, like 5D dreams. Yeah, you want it to work. You want it to work with this Three of Pentacles. You want you guys to um, come back together there. How will Aries person come towards them? How will Aries person come towards them? <laughs> I'm, I'm, excuse me. I'm, I'm hearing that I don't, I, they don't want to talk about it. It's like I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I don't, I don't want to talk about how I'm gonna come towards them because what if they, what if they don't accept it? So, okay, <laughs> poor baby. So nine of wands, they are tired of the shit. They are tired of fighting with you. Again, you have the nine of wands up here. This is your twin flame, baby. 
the Hierophant in the reverse. Again, the Hierophant's right here in the reverse. This is your twin baby. Um, so they're going to come to you with, you know, some sort of an offer. But it's going to be, you know... It's going to be after they have come to the realization that you guys are connected and you are their soulmate. You know, they can't just do it. Um, it's kind of almost like um, them doing this because you see how okay we have the higher font here and then the nine of wands for you right because it's like you don't it's like you're giving off that i don't want commitment because i'm tired of your shit they're giving off that fuck what i want i i want you so whatever you want energy like i'm in, uh, it's in a sense of like um they're suppressing or like suppressing their true nature because they they love you. And that's not that's not okay. Don't let them do that. Um then we have the six of pentacles and the three of cups. So yeah, they want this shit to be equal now. They want to reunite with you. Again, three of cups is up here for you too. This is your twin. Um and if this is your twin and you're spiritual and I feel that you are you know what you need to do. Um, gonna have to wait it out, baby. Um, but yeah, so the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, this to me, you know, in the past, they didn't give you, um, they didn't give you a lot to work with, right? Um, it, it was a lot of you, not too much of them. And now you see how their cards are coming out. Like they got a lot of shit to say. You're all like, like um organized here not them not so much because it's like now they see what you've been trying to tell them the whole time yeah and even though they are um um what do you call this even though they are immature to this feeling or um immature to showing their emotions they're they're coming through again look with the strength card here they're coming through with the willpower to, to try to offer that to you some of you guys are dealing with a leo um possibly um um have a daughter with this person yeah but they they want listen with the Eight of Swords, they are in mental anguish about this situation. So they just want to move forward. They do not like being in their head about this shit. They're done with that. They're done with thinking about you in a sense in which they can't call you. Like it's different when they think about you and it's like, well, I'm going to see her later. Versus I'm thinking about you all the time and I, do, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. I can't even ask. Like they don't like that shit. So they're going to be moving in fast with that chariot card um, because they want victory with you. Now, when I say moving in fast, I mean when they actually make the decision to move in. Right now, the decision has not been made. They're going, um, they're in their head a lot too about this because it is your twin, you know? So they, they're not completely sure um, once they... Once they make the, um, put two and two together, understand that you're their soulmate. And um, this union is a divine partnership. That's the time in which they're going to be coming in fast. Because then it's like, okay, so this is what I have to do to do this. And this is what I have to do to get <laughs> my woman back. But they didn't say woman, they said something else. But you guys, you know what I'm talking about. For those of you <laughs> that are into that um, type of kinky, kinky stuff, you know what I'm talking about. Like, I cannot make this up. 
Okay, so I don't know. I know this one came out first. I think this one came out second, so we're going to do it like that. Okay, so we have forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And that's why you guys and they are as well. I think you're manifesting each other. Like I said, you can feel when you're think like thinking about each other. But also, you, you have to wait until you come into this union and realize that it's not going to be a situation where, um, well, since you did me like this, this is how I'm treating you now. No, it's going to either be clean slate or nothing at all. Criticizing one another will only lead to future unhappiness, love, and accept each other as you are and your relationship will mag magically transform. Yeah, just like magic. And, I mean, that's pretty much the twin flame union. Anyway, like, you are supposed to learn lessons because of each other. And those lessons help you become better people. Um, and help you, you know, serve the purpose of the greater good collectively because you two are together. Alright. It says, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Yeah. Both of you are thinking a lot about this shit instead of feeling about it. And I think that if you guys do that, it will help you understand your place. And last but not least, I love the clarification, soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will physically manifest. So don't trip, baby. They coming. Just not on your time, though. And again, it was definitely a lot of fucking. I'm here for this. Um, passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Definitely having 5D dreams as well. I'm not letting that go. Because I feel that um, very strongly here. Okay, so Aries, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. If this resonates with you, please be sure to comment down below. I definitely want to hear about this story. Um, also, to, I always forget something. I guess this time will be no different because I definitely want to say something else. Can't think of it. So, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.